Is there any chance we can do a low approach? That's first. Okay, thank you. Now I'm excited. Sync rate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. The guys from JMB, they're based in the Czech Republic and they're down here in Australia for the next week doing demo flights for the new VL3 915. From time to time I do get asked from aircraft manufacturers to do test flights and let's be honest for them it's good because they get to showcase their aircraft to you. Most of the time I'll say no. On this occasion though I thought you'd like to see this one because they are marketing this to the same type of pilot who flies well, one of these, a Cirrus. They basically told me you can get an aircraft for half the price of what you would pay for a Cirrus equivalent. And it comes with the Cirrus features that a lot of us pilots really like. A very good autopilot, and it also has the ballistic parachute recovery system. So that's why I'm flying the VL3 in this video, and that's why I wanted to share it with you. Also, as you can see, Echo Yankee Zulu is undergoing some fairly major maintenance at the moment. A big transformation is coming. More on that, though, in a future video. And uh, we can squawk 3,000 as well for the uh, Class D okay. here in Australia. Good. Yep, then he knows we're in his zone. Okay, QNH 1023. This is the JMB VL3. Yeah, that's correct. But this is a special version. This is the 915. The most important point, we have 143 horsepower. The 912 has only 100. We have a turbocharger and injection. The same specifications as a series, but half of the price and half of the fuel flow. It's, you will see it's way more exciting, in my opinion, than a series. <laughs> you know I'm a series owner, right? Yeah. So I fly an SR22 for many years now, and I think they are a pretty exciting aircraft. But okay, if you think it's exciting, we'll put that to the test. Okay, that's fine. Let's go flying. Good. Yeah. Taxi to holding point Delta 2. All right, runway 17 right, we could call that really. And when we come in for the landing, we call this tower or the other tower for this one? This is the same this one, yes. Oh, okay. yep. 9153, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9153, you're ready, let's have the right. Positive right, gear up. Up, up. That was quick. This we, is, we were up on the piano keys. And this is the normal climb rate. Wow, Two that's steep. 2,000 feet a minute. It's no problem. Okay, after takeoff, three reds gear up and locked, landing light off, and flaps up. It's beautiful over here. Look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? This Fantastic. is my home territory around here. Fantastic. It is beautiful. Fantastic. We're very, very lucky to have. Ah. You know, we've got everything here. We've got Class C controlled airspace, got a Class D airport, got instrument approaches that we can practice, and, like, what was that? Maybe four minutes, you're in almost uncontrolled airspace, That's basically. That's amazing. Yeah. And we can switch to. Oh, do you want to do, yeah, do it? One, do one three five seven. Okay. Is the um, area frequency if you just want to have that? And we just monitor this one. Just monitor. Okay. No need to make a call. If you like to switch frequencies, you can also do like this with the touch screen. It works like an iPhone. Yeah. The brush on the part you want to use. It's super super easy. This is the G three X. Yeah. The Garmin G three X. Yeah. Uh, system. So it's touch screen system. Garmin or other brands uh, like Avidyne or uh, Dynan, I prefer Garmin. It's easy to work with, easy interface, uh, it's really nice. Also here you see the how much percent power setting we have, it looks like uh, the series. So what do you generally cruise at for your power settings? Specifications, Joran, okay, so you know, what speeds can this aircraft do? Give us, give us some stats. So if you cruise around 2,000, 3,000 feet, you can expect 175 knots dust airspeed, the fuel burn will be around 35 liter an hour. If you go a bit higher, because we have a turbocharger, if you go above 10,000 feet, you will have easily 185 knots dust airspeed with a, a, the same fuel burn around 34, 35 liter an hour. I cruise mostly in Europe with this plane around flight level 150. Then you take some oxygen and then you can easily get 200 knots. I can show you some uh, things about the autopilot. Yeah, let's have a look at the autopilot. Okay. If you have unusual attitudes, you're lost in the clouds, you're confused, like this, you press the level button and the plane is recovering straight and level from itself. And now you have time to contact the air traffic controller, to have a look where you are, to get out of the clouds. And with this autopilot, I never discovered that the autopilot switched off in uh, turbulent weather. You can do a full VNAV approach or a GPS approach with the autopilot. Yeah. The only thing we are missing then is an auto throttle. But we don't have that in the Cirrus either. Uh, not at the moment, they have it in the Vision Jets, but they don't have it in the uh, SR-22s. Uh, good climb rates. Uh, we have a nice uh, gap here. Let's go up this way. No yeah, it's space. nice and still above the clouds as well. And we can climb easily 2,000 feet a minute. It flies a bit like a small fighter jet. 
You can feel the G's on you actually when you're pulling back there. Look at this. He's still climbing at about 100 knots, over 100 knots here. Yep. We can still go back to 2,000 feet a minute if you want. We have now 2,250 feet. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only 915 in the country at the moment, is that yep. correct? Yeah, that's the first one in Australia, the first guy we met for a demo flight. Fantastic. So am I going to get a chance to fly as well? Okay, if you want, you can take the controls. Yeah, let me take the controls. I switch over to autopilot. Okay, it's Bye. very sensitive. But you will feel and it. Trip. Uh, this is the trip, it's a trip. Uh, manual, not a trip. Oh, I see. You will feel as well if you do some turns. The plane is really stable, it's not continuing in the turn if you trim it. If you adjust the trip in the correct position, you don't need that much... Uh, no, there's not too much back pressure. No, no. And not too much rudder required as well, actually. No. It flies very light and smooth, and it makes it nice as well if you make a small flight around the airport just for fun flying. You have uh, on 180 knots a 4-hour endurance. If you reduce the weight a way more, and you go to 135, 140 knots, you go up to 7 hours fuel uh, endurance. Oh, you know, the biggest thing for me as a serious pilot to get used to is to stick in the middle. Yeah, like it feels really nice on the controls, it feels responsive, but it also, I actually thought it would feel quite light, but it feels heavy on the controls. You've got um, a lot of good response from the control surfaces when you're moving the stick around. I thought it would be, move the stick and the plane feels like it's falling over, but it feels stable. So like coming out the turn here, I actually have to put a fair bit of pressure on to bring it back, but if I just release at that point, I mean, I've not trimmed very well, but it holds itself then straight and level very well. You want to go through this gap again? Yeah, let's go down through the gap. Okay. Maybe you can reduce a little bit. They come back on the power. Because once you put the nose, uh, you point the nose a bit down on the horizon, it catch up really quickly. Ah, does it? Yeah. So what sort of power setting to, to do it? We are that's fine. 30 to 40 percent is more than fine. This, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. The south coast here in Melbourne is very, very pretty. I really like it. What about the temperature of the sea? Is it cold here? Yeah, it's cold. It's always cold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also we have sharks. Yeah. So you probably don't want to go swimming. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we should talk about the paint scheme on this as well, because you've got a checkered flag on the tail. It's yep. orange in colour. Yep. It's a cool scheme. One time you use it. Does you buy for it and it's your paint scheme and we will never use it again. Oh, I see. So, like, you know, you've always got a unique aircraft. Yep. Turning down in 217 right, is there any chance we can do a low approach on the 17 right and after the full stop landing? Uh, 9153, that's approved. Okay, thank you. Hey. Amazing. That's, that's, that's great really control, cool. is it, Marabin? That's, that's really, really cool. cool. Oh, I'm excited. Eh? This is good. <laughs> this is good. Okay, and no report of traffic, runway is clear. Yeah, it's all yours. There we go. 500, sink rate, pull up, caution, sink rate, sink rate, pull up, pull up. And ready for the pull? Go! Follow me in form tango, follow the liberty. That was so good. Really cost me. I love that, that was brilliant. It looks fine. Joran's being very nice to me now. I said I wanted to do a few shots inside the cockpit and he's cleaning it up, but honestly, it looks fine. Hey, thank you for the flight. Good pleasure. That was really, really good. Well, if you have questions, you request a demo, just send us an email. Everyone is more than welcome in a factory in Czech Republic to have a demo flight, <laughs> a visit in a factory. I also want to come down and drink some of your beers because I love the Czech Republic beers. So maybe I'll see you over there next That's time. That's a good idea. Yeah, That's we should do idea. that. Hey, thanks, Joran. Thanks for your time, mate. Pleasure. Enjoy have the rest nice of your time day. in Australia. Bye-bye.